Hi guys, Paul Kirtley here and I want to share with you some initial thoughts on a torch or flashlight, whatever you want to call it, that I've been using recently and this is the Olight M2T Warrior and um, again full disclosure Olight sent this to me to try out but to be honest with you the only reason I said yes I say no to an awful lot of stuff that people want to send to me just because it kind of might give them some vague endorsement and um, the reason I said yes to this was because I've been using the little Olight S1 baton for some time I bought one to go in my buoyancy aid for paddling I wanted a small but bright torch that was potentially waterproof in my buoyancy aid and um, that would fit in that was a lot smaller than any of these sort of handheld torches and you know that I've used surefire torches in the past surefire lamps you know that I like to use a surefire um, headlamp and I've done that for a number of years I've written articles about why in the past why I stopped using Petzl headlamps for example I'd broken so many of them the plastic parts on them and um, I started using the surefire uh, minimus um, and that is a metal bodied torch metal bodied headlamp and I've been using that for seven years and I've had no issues with it at all I'm just about getting to the point where I need to replace the elastic on the headband that's about as much as of an issue I've had with that so um, I like good quality lamps I don't change lamps very often but as I say I wanted a small lamp I'd seen some people that are well into their EDC stuff recommend the S1 baton I got one of those used it extensively in my buoyancy aid when I've been paddling including having fallen in the water multiple times the torch still works I was impressed with that and therefore I bought another one just for day-to-day -day use to have in my pocket so and um, when Olight got in touch with me directly and said would I like to try out one of their larger torches it was just a coincidence they got in touch and I, I was like well I like your small one I like your S1 baton I will have a uh, a go with the uh, the warrior if you're happy to send it to me and um, um, which is one of the torches they were offering to send so they sent it to me and I've been using this for a number of months now which isn't long by my standards you know I like to use things from for quite a long time before I form firm firm conclusions but um, so far I really really like this it's very bright on full beam um, I will put the technical specs up at the side here um, and I'll also put them in the description um, a summary there on, on the on the screen for you in terms of lumens etc um, it takes two CR123 batteries um, in this little plastic uh, sleeve here and I like the fact it uses CR123 batteries because that's the battery that my um, Surefire head torch uses and that is my go-to head torch that I take on all of my trips um, winter trips in the north lithium battery of course work better in the cold um, winter trips in the north all around the UK um, and I find that that works very very well so something that uses the same battery type uh, immediately is attractive and this takes two of the CR123s it's got a removable uh, pocket clip on here if you don't want the pocket clip that's quite handy for sliding it into your trouser pocket um, or into a shirt pocket or a jacket pocket um, that is another little feature that comes off in terms of the switching it on and off um, it's it, it goes full beam on the back straight away also if you hold it and then push it in a bit more it goes onto um, an oscillator which um, you probably can't see properly because of the frame rate of the camera versus the rate that it's flashing but um, it's it's very good for attracting attention I, also in an urban environment it'd be very good for sticking in somebody's face and um uh, and disorienting them if you uh, were walking down a dark uh, street or what have you it, it is uh, powerful enough to cause somebody some serious discomfort um, then on the side here a little bit like the s1 baton actually is another uh, switch which allows you to go up through the grades as it were and you can have a more uh, graduated set of brightnesses there so you've got a lot of control over the beam 
Um, I've been using this quite a lot um, personally, and I've also had it with me while I've been teaching. Um, we were running a navigation course not that long ago, and we were doing night navigation. And um, it was very useful in terms of when we were teaching students um, to be able to highlight you know, features, particularly in terms of gradients, as we were discussing what the, the gradient was doing on the map. And they weren't quite getting it in terms of like we were, we were on a track and the gradient was changing and it was like okay i could use the lamp to say look okay it's a lot steeper there shine it down it's 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 a lot less steep there and it was it was really useful for illuminating and pointing things out also from my perspective you know i'm working with clients in the woods i'm working with clients in remote areas and um, if someone gets lost at night it's good to have a bright lamp with me and this is brighter than um, my older I've got a Surefire Outdoorsman um, from years ago with two CR123 batteries and this is brighter now I mean torches keep getting better and better lamps keep getting better and better um, it does have a um, rubber seal on it for waterproofing I haven't tested that yet I haven't had this in the water I don't know if it's fully water re resistant from personal experience but at least it's weather sealed I've been happy using this in the rain so so far I am quite impressed with this little lamp um, it's comfy in my pocket there's no sharp edges that dig in if you've got it in a, in a trouser pocket for example um, it's super bright you can bring it to bear on full brightness immediately if you want to almost immediately on that um, strobe which is is useful um, particularly for some people who are thinking of it more from a maybe personal protection point of view as well um, but also if you wanted to attract attention to yourself um, it would be a good thing uh, for that as well I would imagine and then you've got the more graduated control at the front so overall I think it's a well thought out lamp it's not too heavy um, it's comfortable in the pocket it goes in my one of my kit pouches really nicely in my sort of possibles pouch um, it fits in a lot of my jacket pockets very nicely and this as I say this clip comes away so if you don't want the clip on it there that that clip you can just have the plain lamp there as well so thank you for Olight for sending that to me and um, hopefully that's useful I like this um, I have a headlamp that they've sent to me as well which I will do a review of at some stage um, I'm not sure I'm going to be quite so positive on that it's a little bit plasticky and those of you that know me you know my issues with plastic headlamps but like I say I'll give you my first impressions of that before too long but so far I'm liking the M2T Warrior so um, uh, and again just full disclosure I have received no payment for this at all I don't take payments for reviews there's a conflict of interest there I would be very suspicious of anybody who takes payment for reviews um, because they're basically buying your opinion it's very very hard but you know they've sent me this uh, Olight sent me this to test out um, it fits with the type of torch that I like and it also fits with the fact that I've been using their S1 baton if it was just somebody I'd never heard of I probably wouldn't have taken it on to test it in the first place but I've been impressed with a small S1 baton and so far I've been impressed with this one too so hopefully if you're in the uh, market for a torch that will help inform your decision if you're trying to decide between a number of different ones um, I haven't clearly done a side-by-side multi-torch test here I'm just telling you what I think of this it fits nicely with the way that I use lamps it's an extra one um, I like my surefire minimus it's going to be hard to supplant that from my head as it were but this is an I like to have a hand torch in my kit as well particularly when I'm working with clients and this fits the bill very very nicely so thank you Olight for sending this to me to try out very good so far thank you um, if you like this video if it's been useful to you please like it if you want to hear more from me both in terms of um, what stuff works for me as well as all of the more uh, nature-based bushcraft material that I put out on my channel ask Paul Kirtley's etc etc please subscribe and um, if you think other people will find this useful please share it with them as well and I will see you on the next video I've been Paul Kirtley take care bye bye